high school is working with local law enforcement and insurance agencies to encourage students to be better drivers. The event shows students the different dangers of distracted driving. Our Autumn Klein joins us live from Wando High School in Mount Pleasant, where that event will be play taking place today. So Autumn, tell us a little bit more about the importance that they're having in our communities. Shelby, Katie, car accidents continue to be the leading cause of death among teens across the country. I actually spoke to a Mount Pleasant police officer who said that they very often see teens involved in accidents here in the town as well. The southeastern chapter of the National Safety Council, as well as Mount Pleasant police and insurance representatives will be at Wando today to teach students safer driving habits. As a part of this hands on experience, students will get to drive behind the wheel of a simulator that mimics distracted or impaired driving. Students will undergo a sobriety test wearing fatal vision goggles as well. They'll try to navigate an obstacle course behind the wheel of a golf cart with these goggles. Students will also hear from Mount Pleasant police officers about how to properly act in the case that they are pulled over. The point in all of this is to show students the dangers of distracted driving and see firsthand how doing so can change their lives in an instant. I spoke with a police officer and a representative from the National Safety Council who shared why doing these events is so important. When we're out here, um, they're learning things. Um, we're showing them today how a traffic stop would appear, but they're learning things when we're talking about, you know, going the posted speed limit, how a different speed can totally change the outcome of a collision, um, following the traffic control devices, why they're there, the timing about them. So I feel like these kind of things, when we're getting them beforehand, before they're involved in a crash or before they're stopped by the police, they can learn beforehand so there's no after effects. I think we get a lot of positive feedback from students in these, that attend these events. Um, you know, they're able to better understand how their reaction time is affected if they are doing something else while they're driving their vehicle. Um, they're able to see how their motor skills are affected by using the fatal vision goggles. So it's a really uh, great way for them to kind of gain some understanding but still be safe. The distracted driving event for students here at Wando will take place today from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. And coming up at 6, we will actually hear from two students about what participating in this event means to them. Live in Mount Pleasant, Autumn Klein, Live 5 News.